That was the day I brought my uh, youngest child home. I haven't seen them in five years, but uh, not days gone by that I haven't thought about them. It's the only thing I have left of them. I mean, being homeless, you know, moving around, I lost so much stuff. That's the only picture I got left of them. You want to start at the beginning? Well, let's start at the very, very beginning. <laughs> So in 2015, I arrived in Seattle with my ex-wife and my three children. We had nowhere to go. We found this old, dilapidated semi-truck trailer, and we just kind of curled up under there, huddled up under there, and that was our first day. Being homeless and then being homeless with children, it is a feeling of hopelessness that no words can really describe how, how that feels to know that your child has nowhere to stay, no food, and you are supposed to be that child's provider. We eventually found a little family shelter. Everything was fine at first, and, you know, until we started getting into our little creature comfort. So I think I became laxed, and I turned once again back to drugs. So I was back in that cycle of using wanting to quit, not knowing how to quit, and trying to be a father. It's, uh, it was a, a juggling act I couldn't keep up anymore. I need to change. A friend of mine came up to me and he was like, hey man, you gotta check this program out called Fair Start. I wanna take you to Pike Market and show you some of the stuff that I get to work with. And he took me to uh, this little cheese shop and I was just like, wow, this is amazing. He's like, bro, I get to work with this stuff every day. He's like, you gotta come to Fair Start. And that's when I kind of consented. I was like, all right, I'm gonna give it a shot. It was scary. It was a, a big step and uh, I had no one to take it with me. Miss Jones Life Skill class is the first class that you take when you come to Fair Start, and it really does teach you, you know, you can be something else besides what your past was. That started to really resonate within me. I started to feel better about myself and started to respect myself a lot more. Thanks, Michael. When the students come into the program, they know it's them that's gonna transform their lives. How you doing, man? It's them that's gonna create the ripple effect that's gonna bring their family and themselves back together. I have just been learning everything I can about French cuisine, Greek cuisine, Middle Eastern cuisine, the knife skills class. Wow, it was uh, amazing. It is amazing to watch someone who actually comes to the program literally scared and just watch that transformation and the confidence just rise up in their soul. I was uh, getting ready to graduate Fair Start and I went for my first stage working interview and Chef Dam comes in and he's like, Scott, how did your stage go? And I was like, Chef, I got the job. <laughs> I started off at the fryer. Nine months later, I'm running the entire back of the house. I'm the saute chef, I'm, the, the, I'm on the broiler, I'm on the fryer, and I'm doing pantry. I'm running the entire back of the house. And it felt great. <laughs> and then COVID happened. And that was it, that was it for that restaurant. Everybody lost their job and I was unemployed. And it was hard and it was scary. Marjorie from Fair Start called me. She's like, hey, do you want a job? Of course I want a job. <laughs> She's like, well, Fair Start needs somebody. They need help. All right, I could do that. And when I came to Fair Start, I saw some of my old familiar chefs, my community, my little family. They came right back into the program and they actually re-energized the staff by coming back in and and just jumping in and, and doing what they had to do. It, it made us proud that, wow, look, here are our grads supporting us now. Isn't that the coolest thing? You wanna talk about full circle? When I walked in the front door, I wasn't ready for the magnitude that they were doing. Uh, they converted the entire restaurant 
floor into an almost working assembly line. Those meals are, are lifesavers. And as somebody who had to eat out of the trash, I know how that feels. So when we're making those meals, whether I'm wrapping sandwiches or scooping applesauce or washing the dishes that it was made in, I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy. They do so much good for the community, not just for the students, but for the entire community. With the emergency meals, hitting a million meals, that is so impressive. Immediately when I heard that news, I called my mom. I'm like, mom, you gotta, you gotta see what I'm, a, what I'm doing here, what this place is about. You know, and she was proud, she was proud of me. Uh, I'm doing something with my life, you know? Just, I love it. Fair Sharp means everything.